Hey guys, alright, so today what we're going to talk about is what a limit actually is and it's pretty much just going to be an informal definition with a couple of simple examples and uh, the formal definition is going to come a little bit later but for now, let's just talk about it informally first with this example here. So we've got this function y equals f of x, alright, and notice at the point 4 comma 3 we have a hole here, okay, there's a little piece missing and when x equals 4, y is actually 5 and not 3 but as we're about to see, that doesn't matter for the limit Okay, so why is that? Well, basically, uh, informally speaking, a limit just tells you what happens to a function near a certain value of x and not necessarily at that value. Okay, so whatever's happening at the value is irrelevant for the limit because what's important for the limit is what happens near or around that value. So let's take a look at what happens near x equals 4. So when x is near 4, uh, what does it look like y is doing? Well, if we follow along the curve here from either side, as x gets closer and closer to 4, it looks like y is going to hit 3, right? So when x is near 4, it looks like uh, it kind of looks like y is approaching 3. Again, if we follow along the curve here, uh, from either the left or the right, as x gets closer and closer to 4, it looks like y is getting closer and closer to 3 on the blue curve here, right? Now again, y actually hits 5 when x is 4, but that doesn't matter for the limit. So when x is near 4, it looks like y is approaching 3. How do we express this in terms of limits? Well, what we say is the limit as x approaches... Four of f of x is three. All right, so that's what we say. Now, how do we write that in limit notation? Well, we write it like this: lim for limit. Okay, and then underneath that, we write x right arrow four, and then f of x equals sign three. Okay, so what we have is uh, the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x is 3. And let's take a look at the graph one more time real quick. So what we have up here is we see that if we follow along the curve from either the left or the right, uh, what happens as x gets closer and closer to 4 is that uh, y is getting closer and closer to 3. And again, yeah, y actually hits 5 when x is 4, but that doesn't matter for the limit because the only important thing for the limit is what happens around or near the value and not so much at the value. Okay, So let's take a look at another example over here. So this example is a little bit simpler because there's no holes, no pieces missing, nothing like that. But uh, the process is actually pretty much going to be exactly the same. So let's take a look at what happens near x equals 9. So when x is near 9, what does it look like y is doing? Well, if we follow along the curve from either the left or the right, uh, as x gets closer and closer to 9, it looks like y is getting closer and closer to 4, right? So when x is near 9, it looks like y is approaching 4. And yeah, when x equals 9, y actually is 4, but that doesn't matter for the limit because remember the limit uh, just tells you what's happening around or near the point and not so much at the point. Okay, so when x is near 9, it looks like y is approaching 4. So how do we express that in terms of limits? Well, just like before, what we say is the limit as x approaches... 9 of g of x is 4. Okay, so that's what we say. The limit as x approaches 9 of g of x is 4. So how do we write that in limit notation? Well, that's also just like before. Uh, we have lim, and then underneath that, x 
right arrow, 9, and this time our function is g of x, and then equal sign 4. Okay, so the limit as x approaches 9 of g of x is 4. And let's just take a look at the graph again one more time real quick. So we see that when x gets closer and closer to 9 from either the left or from the right, uh, what we see is y is getting closer and closer to 4. All right, And yeah, y actually is 4 when x is 9, but it doesn't matter for the limit. So what's important to remember is that a limit, uh, informally speaking, just tells you how a function behaves near a certain point and not necessarily at the point. So whatever's happening at the point might agree with the limit like it does here, or it might be different from the limit like here.